Need to cook a roast but run out of convection trays? I'm going to show a quick and easy hack. So what we'll do is dodge down into it. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your wearable products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a quick and easy hack. If you've got a Weber Q, the biggest thing you need are convection trays. Now yes these cost quite a bit of money, but they do last quite a long time. If you're just doing baking, if you're doing roast then you're going to use them and go through quite a lot. Now the hardest part I have with these is you always run out when the shops are closed. So what I'm going to do is show you a quick and easy solution to get that roast on when you haven't got any Weber Q convection trays. Now there's three things you're going to need to replace that convection tray. You're going to need your trivet or your roasting rack and two, you're going to need some tin foil. And thirdly, you're going to need a sharp knife. Well, so first up, you're going to want to tear a piece of tin foil out around 19 inches long. I'll put on screen what that is in millimetres and then you're going to literally fold that in half. Like so. Alright, so they folded that in half. We're going to turn that round and it wants to be at least half an inch wider either side than your roasting rack. The reason for that is all your fat is going to collect. Now, there's a lot of videos out there and there's a lot of people out there saying just put tin foil on there, but you're risking a fat fire. You've got to put some drainage holes in here. So we'll get this on a queue and I'll quickly show you where to put the drainage holes. Right, so what we've got is the queue, and I've put our trivet on so you can see that all these slits line through with your trivet. Now, what you've got to make sure when you put these in is that no fat is going to drip on those burners. They're the most dangerous part for that is, if we look, is there. So if the fat drips through there, you're more than likely going to end up with a fat fire. If fat collects and drips over the side, if you haven't put slits in your tin foil, then it's going to drip over the side and again you're going to get a fat fire. So that's the reason Weber brought out the convection trays. Now before those they did use tin foil, but you have to put the slits in the correct place. So we'll just drop the tin foil on and I'll show you where you put the slits in. So now we've placed our tin foil on. What you're going to do is put your trivet on, like so. Make sure it's evenly spaced. And obviously do this when it's cold. If it's, a, if it's a windy condition, this helps as well putting it upside down. Now what you want to do when we do this is we're going to cut some nice slits in here. We're not going to do them in every single one. We're only going to do a few. So now your trivet's in place. We're going to count. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. So you're going to want them here. And you can feel it's not up here because these are the solid plate that goes through. And that's protecting your burner. So you don't want any holes in there. You're just going to slice that knife through there and then there should be one here okay and then we're going to go here so just follow your trivet here here and you can fold that down a bit Then do the same on the opposite side. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go here. 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 And here. So you can see we're just following the edge of that trivet. Now try not to move that, it should hopefully stay in place when you flip it over, drop that on there and that should hold that in place and that's ready to rock and roll. What you don't want as I said is any slits in the middle because that's going to hit the burner. And now that's the right way up, our fat isn't going to sit here, it will drain straight through those holes and it's not going to hit the burner because your burner tubes are here and here. Also it's not going to collect and run over the edge because you've got these drainage holes. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your web products. Make sure you check those out at the end of this video.
Now I'll say again, this isn't a replacement for the Weber convection trays completely, it's just a temporary fix to get you through in those emergencies or when you've run out of convection trays for your Weber Q. Now with that tinfoil again, I will say make sure you don't put slits in the middle, you do not want that fat dripping straight on that burner, you are risking a fat fire, and make sure you put at least three slits on either side to get that fat to drain, especially if you're doing pork. Because if you don't, you're gonna get the fat collect and it's gonna drip over the side and you're gonna end up with a fat fire. I hope you found that hat really easy. Now we'll put all card above a link into how to make a smoker packet if you haven't seen that one. Make sure you check that out. Again, those new to the channel, if you find you get value out of this content, the contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. One, you're gonna need, what is it called? One, you're gonna need your trivet or your baking tray.